Kante and Wukong and the likes of that. So definitely feels like he's just kind of become the uh, AD carry champion. And there's the Nautilus that we did talk about a little bit there, but not for LGD. This time it's going to be going for EDG. And honestly, EDG have built themselves a very EDG composition front to back. Get yourselves some small little advantages with the Poppy in the early stages and just kind of scale with the uh, Azir and the Aphelion. Nice. of like certain things is much scarier. And speaking of much scarier, Trap top Decade, Trap Card top lane, Step Pass Presence to come out. Not quite just yet. Now we'll be able to get him up there to make sure Decade has nowhere to go. They'll donate that one over to Ala. Very nicely done here from JJ. There are no weak top laners in mind. Uh, already kind of like marshalling the troops in game one in a way that was very reminiscent of Spring Uzi. Good flash away. Yeah, great flash, and they can turn that one right the way around. Even with the Ignite ticking, LPC looking to try and trade this and will be able to get it. No ghost in the world is going to be able to help you there from that. Now LPC putting in serious oh. work. You cannot flash an auto attack. An LPC getting a two-for-one trade definitely works. Indeed, LGD picked that objective for themselves nicely. We're having a little, again, very similar kind of setup this time in around. The game, so he's kind of okay with the way that things are at the moment. We will see Ala desperately trying to get that proc of the uh, of the demolish down. Decades looking for a bit of an engagement here because he knows that Meteor's on his way. Flash, flash. There's going to be the Cyclone coming down now. Decade. Just trying to see if he can bait him in a little bit more. There's plenty of reinforcements here. Ala will not be getting out with a kill on this one. And Hai Chow secures that one over for LGD. So nice little catch out here. But just stand into River to see if he was getting cross maps on. Indeed, he's not. Spots that one out. LGD not able to take anything in top River because of the lack of teleport. I feel trying like. to just immediately turn it into a turret top. So. EDG just making sure they're keeping themselves in tow with the tur turret takes force. Yeah, it's just, uh, it doesn't go on forever. So uh, it's it's interesting to see that the Dino Slayer is kind of slowly just yeah. kind of, you know, ending. Uh, which is kind uh, of bad. Uh, there are I'm not a fan of season four. I, I, the thing is, it, it, you got to remember that the main character of book one at that point. But anyway, I really enjoyed rewatching that. That was good. Yeah, I think, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's actually one of the few Blu-ray like, sets I own. Oh, that's a good uh, one to have. Yeah, Decade's going to be owned in a second. Uh, that's going to be Uzi coming in. Tried to jump onto him with the Counter-Strike. Not going to happen. And that's Uzi picking up his second kill. I mean, honestly, that's just a really <laughs> bad... Um, and that's an important uh, win for EDG. Now, both these side lane out of turrets are down. Flash away in the mid lane for Mako. Yeah, he's now kind of getting chorus here. They're going to flash it on top of him, but the Setbass Presence is way too late. And that's just another good little pickoff here. A couple of seconds before this. Surely you've developed some like, techniques to keep guys. yourself awake. Maybe a Baron stop. We can give you a shot of caffeine from that one. This is what I need. A little bit of a team fight jumping in as LPC gets caught out. No cleanse and he is dead. Meteor going into his Beyblade form. He hasn't aged very well though, so he has the ones in control. Yeah, but they still can't do anything about this mid lane, man. That's the engage. There's the engage, the flash over the wall as Jin Zhao gets the flash out of Fofo. Uzi still has his, but this is the steadfast presence. How do you engage? You can't! Poppy stops everything! There we go, flash in on the decade as he gets stunned up against the wall. There's Fofo using his ultimate. Uzi now has the flash back over towards the dragon pit as Hai Chao finishes off Fofo. Finally, LGD pull the trigger. Steadfast presence does stop anyone else from moving forward here. Uzi has nowhere ready to go. No ghost, no flash, and no real hope of getting out of this one alive, you feel. Decade's gonna be at the top on his face. Three kills for none, and finally LGD find themselves a fight. They block everything. If you can win the fight with the first kind of dash is being blocked, that's awesome, but can't stop. Here, so they know that he is trying to flank his way around into oblivion. There's gonna be the poppy kind of pushing in first. Jin Chao takes so much damage. Shedja flashes as well. Now they're jumping here onto Hai Chao, who's gotten caught out just a little bit. They're going to put in the sand shoulders. Now Hai Chao is dead. Uzi gets jumped on, but realistically, I don't think that the cycle's going to be enough. Never mind. A bonk of the head is good. Jin Zhao jumping in. Now LPC trying to take down Fofo, and he will. Unfortunately, though, for the side of LGD, is on the backside. They don't know exactly where he is. Mako's going to look to try and maybe look for him. There's going to be a TP. They're going to assume that's going to be the Jax there. There's going to be a flash in from Jin Zhao. Hai Chao tries to make this one work. The Moonlight Vigil goes completely wide. Mako not quite down just yet. Ala on the backside all alone. Goes into the GA. So he's going to be able to respawn in a couple of seconds. <laughs> I mean, he's going to respawn and immediately die afterwards. Meteor in the back of the pit, but... Mako might die for an engage, but he has a flash. If he hits someone important, then that could be the sign which EDG needs. I mean, Fofo is still pretty big. Jin Zhao is dead. They're going to see Hai Chao just too late to try and find the flank. The flash in to get the stun onto JJ. They will confirm a kill. And they'll oh. get Decade on the back of this well. How does Mako survive that? I thought he was being a martyr, but he was actually Rassel being... around this pit. 
Not gonna do enough either. Oh, that's one kill. Gets one, but will he get out alive? He will not. Baron secured. Now Meteor has to run away, but can he run far enough? I don't think he can. And it's all gone wrong. LGD, it looks so good. You're actually totally fine with this setup right now. Turn back, try go for the Elder. And this is the problem with taking early. Room 22, they now know where Haichao is. They do not know where Meteor is. Should be just an easy blast cone over to try and make sure there's no confirm on this one here. But here we go. Here's the fight. Decade already has to go into his Zonyas to try and stay his Jinjiao. Right, gonna fall along with the virus. That's a double kill for Fofo. Meteor, last grass best for to try and kill off Uzi, but I don't think anything's gonna happen from it. Ala will pick up that kill, and Fofo, big plays around this. That is it. Hasn't really had much to say in this game, but he's scaled up. It's been a slow one. 34 minutes he's taken EDG. A couple of games to grind out LGD, but they win nonetheless. And LGD, they couldn't quite make it work. Nope. We say a big old salute. Big old kind of see you next year to LGD. They are officially out of playoffs for the 2023 summer split. The scoreline of 2 and 11 means they are literally impossible for them to catch up to anybody in that top 10. But for EDG, congrats to them to get them up to seven wins. It puts them just below WE on seven and six now.